Chapter 8, The Crystal Sea. The Crystal Sea! Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. We picked up new people in the mountains? You don't know me. I'm your new Prince Charming. What? Leonhard Strauk. Got it memorized. <laughs> you <laughs> were just in a flashback. You can't. No. No. You were just in a flashback. Yasha a lot. Now, if you'd like to review the principles of ballistic trajectory, I can go over the formula. I like you, Yasha. My soldier's preferences, I've, I've tamed the bunny decal. Okay. No doubt we will soon encounter the butcher and the blade decals. <sighs> Back to headquarters. Unavailable! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> They're not gonna, you're not gonna let me go to headquarters? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you're stopping me from going to headquarters? You just, you just put new people on, guys, I have been, you remember the Siegfall line? You remember the grueling spate of battle after battle after battle in what you claimed was the end of the game, but turned out to be like the 40% mark? You remember that? That, in the middle of that, after every single battle, you let me go back to headquarters. <laughs> I was at headquarters at the beginning of this episode. The only thing I did between that, between the last time I was at headquarters and now is tell a story. <laughs> Do not let me go to... Only the coldest winters gave rise to the Crystal Sea, a floating field dotted with countless icebergs. Uh-huh. Normally an inland sea, the bitter cold made it a frozen wasteland, impassable by ships. Except for the fancy ones. At these times, nature itself protected the imperial capital. Snow on the land and icebergs in the water. Man, it seems like it's a really bad idea to invade the However, Empire. This winter, brought an unusual sight. Three Federation battleships charging through that frigid expanse. Snow cruisers. Yay! These were the Federation's secret weapons, built to pass the impassable and tame the Crystal Sea. Why didn't we just lead with these guys? Okay, can I go to headquarters now? Nope! Those snow cruisers hadn't shown up when they did, the entire Ranger Corps would have died on that coast. As it is, most of them did. As it stood, we'd already lost over half our troops by the time they arrived. It's literally what I just said. After boarding, we reorganized the survivors. Each company went to a different ship. Does that mean new team? Squad E's company was assigned to the Operation's number two vessel, the Centurion. Mm -hmm. We're finally in a place where we can leave the cold, the hunger, and the marching behind. I imagine it's still, well, maybe inside the ship Almost when- too good okay. to be true. Straight out of hell, and into something like heaven. Okay, Claude, I understand that there's comparisons to be had here, but- But, it's not a heaven that comes with a sky. I was gonna say, like, you're on a ship. You're in, a, you're in your quarters on a boat. Okay? Now, granted, I'm sure they're fine quarters. You've got the officer's quarters, okay? That's nice. But still, you're in your quarters on a boat. Is this really heaven? Really? Riley, how's Minerva holding up? She won't touch her food. It seemed to take all her effort just to respond to me. I see. Well, I can't blame her. She's one of the few survivors of Squad F. And they... They might not have died if... 
if we hadn't done the whole squaddy had been quicker depot thing but if Minerva stays like this yeah time heals all wounds but we don't have that luxury hmm ah, damn it there goes my soup oh no <laughs> are you okay that was a big one oh, I've had enough of this crap I can't keep my appetite with all this damn shaking and the boat creaks. I can't even sleep. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Are you gonna call Raz a landlubber? Oh, princess. Can't get his beauty rest going over a little ice reef. You army boys are all the same. Oh, yeah? Well, we ain't a bunch of chumps on a boat, that's for sure. Point of order. I'm sorry. I feel the need to interject. Raz? You are, at this very moment, a chump on a boat. <laughs> and whose boat do you think you're on? Oh, we can help you get some sleep hot shot. No more scary ice. You might not even wake up. Okay, this guy's complaining about your boat and you're threatening to kill him. Now, granted, he is being an asshole complaining about your boat, but you don't have to threaten to kill him. You think you're hot shit? Fine, come get it! Rass! Raz has picked a fight with everyone else in the Federation Army that he's come across. <laughs> Coming in with a big windup like that? I'll show you how to throw a friggin' punch! <sighs> thwack, whap, thwack! Shouldn't we stop them? Maybe, but first, we should examine the menu. Because I'm curious, off to the right there, there's, uh... Here. Off on, off on the right side, you can't actually see because I can't circle it, but there's a menu and I'm trying to figure out what it says. It's spaghetti, does that say with meat sauce? That would make sense. And then chicken Mandarin Joe's. I don't know what a chicken Mandarin Joe is. And then there's tomato soup, French fries and curry and rice. I don't understand why french fries are their own entry on the... Why are french fries their own entry on the menu? Are, are they not a side? Can't I get the, the chicken marinara joes with french fries? I want a chicken marinara joe with french fries. They can let off some steam. Idiots of the land versus idiots of the sea. Yeah. Ah! An erg! Come on! Hey, Kai, isn't this getting a little out of hand? Maybe a touch. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, somebody hit Riley with a cup. That's the thing about idiots. They never learn unless you make them learn. Riley, that is a grenade. Riley. What the hell? Hey, Riley, you can't just grenade us. I... She... Riley, retreat! Retreat! Let that be a confetti grenade. Whoa, Riley, was that a live custom grenade full of chili powder, pepper, and powdered mustard? It's a spice grenade. Okay. Let's go, Kai. We can have some tea on the deck where it's quieter. Uh huh. Sorry, MV, did you just note that Kai is that Riley is a seasoned veteran? <laughs> Claude's probably the only one who can stop this. What about the person whose boat this is? Who's in charge of the boat? Is it you, Captain Closed Eyes McMustache Face? Welcome to the Centurion. I'm the captain, Roland Morgan. Okay. This is Marie, the radio officer, and Luth, the radar operator. 
Hi, Marie and Loof. We help coordinate maneuvers between the ship and ground forces. Hi. It's nice to meet you, Claude. Uh, allow me to adjust my previous statement and say, Hi, Marie and Loof. Loof. Aren't you going to give Claude a proper greeting? Also, yes, sports fun, this is indeed Captain Morgan. And I don't have any booze. What, waste my breath on that, moron? I've got better things to do. Oof. It's harsh, Loof. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Mm. Loof's always like that. She's the best at what she does, though, so don't worry about her ability. I, I see. Right. <laughs> These young ground pounders are always so high strung. Hi there, fashy haircut man. And you are? I, he's, he's fashy haircut man. Brian Haddock, Lieutenant Junior Grade. I'm the navigator. Your name is Haddock and you're on a boat. It's funny. Lieutenant Haddock, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Just Brian is fine. You do outrank me, after all. Th then why are you calling him? Why are you saluting and calling him sir if you outrank him? Huh? No, I'm a lieutenant too. Okay. Not anymore, Claude. From this day forward, you're promoted to the rank of captain. Nito! <laughs> I got all my friends killed and a promotion! Minerva's gonna be so happy when she hears that I got all of my friends killed. Well, actually, I didn't get any of my friends killed. I got all of her friends killed. And a promotion. <laughs> I'd like to put you in command of this ship's guard convoy. Of the what now? Commanding the guard convoy. But Minerva Victor should have seniority over me. That's true. We've already offered the post to Lieutenant Victor. She refused outright and recommended you in her place. That was either very noble of her or she told them, fuck you, make Claude do it. She did? I'd been considering you for the position myself, after reviewing your record. Well, I do have a spotless record because I get to save scum. With your judgment, adaptability, and the trust of your soldiers... And save scumming. ...you make a fine candidate. Uh-huh. Will you accept this duty, Captain Wallace? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Oh, marvelous. Well... Without any further ado, I'd like to explain your first mission as captain. Is it learn how a boat works? It might be learn how a boat works. Our three snow cruisers are currently heading north across the Crystal Sea. Our new aim is a raid on Schwarzgrad, the Imperial capital. The operation's known by the codename Cygnus. Okay. It was a contingency plan for Operation Northern Cross. Devised in secret, you understand. So the plan... The plan was... We'll invade in the middle of fall, and march straight through to the capital with no resistance whatsoever. But, should we encounter even the slightest bit of obstaclery on our path, or... If it should happen to get cold a couple of weeks earlier than we think it's gonna get cold, then we're gonna look like we're completely and totally fucked until we deploy the secret awesome icebreaker ships. I still don't understand why they didn't lead with the secret awesome icebreaker ships. But with Operation Northern Cross set back so far, Command is using it as a grand diversion instead. Are you saying that this is all a ruse? And so, we of the Cygnus fleet oh. have inherited the duty of invading the capital. Your plan is to make it look like this was your plan all along. Got it. The Crystal Sea is a natural barrier. The Empire would never expect an attack from this side. Except for the fact that you're very loud and obvious. Even if they did, the ice can't support ships, much less infantry and tanks. They can't intercept or pursue. What if they also have secret awesome icebreaker ships, given that they're the ones who live surrounded by ice? This new weapon, 
the snow cruiser is going to let us ride right into the seat of the empire okay that is our duty uh-huh attacking the capital from the crystal sea i don't think anyone would see that coming they would literally see you coming you're very obvious you command an entire guard convoy now mr wallace i'll be expecting great things what exactly is a guard convoy i'll give it all i have sir <laughs> Good to hear. Then let's get to work. Does that just mean more dudes? A personnel has been updated. Great, let's go to headquarters and check it out. Game. I'm gonna be my I'm gonna be at least mildly annoyed at this game if you throw me into a battle before letting me get back to headquarters. Your first duty as captain is to appoint a leader. Me. What do you mean? With your promotion, you'll be carrying quite a bit more responsibility than you've had so far. Okay. You will also have more members in Squad E now. Ooh. You'll need to open your mind to new strategies. Oh my god, is this the game telling me, hey, you know all the big, awesome improvements we've made to the battle system? That was just table setting, and now we're really gonna open things up? I'm kinda terrified at that, actually. You're already delegating a bit to Lieutenant Miller and Sergeant Raz, but... I'm sorry, is Raz's last name Raz? Does, does, does Raz have... What's Raz's last name? I'd like you to appoint a new squad mate to leadership to help bring Squad E to its full potential. Okay. I'm sure this will be a boon to you in the battles to come. My dude. Thank you, sir. Uh, give it some thought. I'm confident your choice will be the right one. Okay, I don't want to make any assumptions yet, but I think I know where the game's going, and if I'm right, I love this. Someone who's fit to be a leader. Who should I choose? Tell me I get the whole squad. Oh. No. I don't get the whole squad. I get a cutscene where I go to Minerva. I mean... Or maybe not. You can now assign leaders from the command room. Choose a soldier from the list and press return to assign them as the current leader. Leaders increase command points in combat, can give direct commands, and cannot be killed. Only soldiers ranked corporal and above can be assigned as leaders. So the game is re the game is not only rewarding the player for having a soldier they've taken this whole time, it is punishing them for not doing it. Soldiers earn promotions through combat experience. The more a unit is deployed, the sooner they will become a leader. That's fucking awesome. Let me go to headquarters. Unavailable at this point in the story. You just gave me the tutorial and you won't let me do the thing you told me to do! You just gave me the tutorial and you won't let me do the thing you told me to do! Ow! My hand! Minerva. Hi there. I accepted the position. I'll be commanding the guard convoy. They still haven't told me what that means, but... Why did you recommend me? Because they didn't tell me what Was it means. Is the title not enough? Now you want to hear me admit defeat in my own words? Oh, boy. No. It's just... I, I know you still haven't forgiven me. And I never will. You killed Crystal. And I... you destroyed Squad F. I, that's, a, that's a very... Mm... You have to jump through a couple of hoops to get that far, Minerva. I'll never forgive you, and I won't let you forget. Nevertheless. Nevertheless, I'm part of your team and gonna work for you now. I still fought with her head held high until the very end. She died fighting for what she believed in. Mm-hmm. Even when it all looked hopeless, 
She did everything she could to protect me. So I will avenge her death. I'll defeat the Empire and fulfill her wish. That's nice. Then why didn't you accept the... Because you are the better candidate, damn you! I... okay. Squad F is gone. The only able member left from Squad D is their commander. After the reorganization, Squad E is the only one with any real firepower left. Yeah. It's elementary. The only one who's fit to be commander is the one with a squad left to command. Uh, she's kind of got a point. Like... Even if you think, okay, well, all of the other squads are going to be merged with Squad E, it's still like, okay, one of these dudes has been with like 70% of this new squad already. Uh, why don't we just put him in charge? Minerva. It does kind of make sense. Camry, you didn't need Claude, to be so... I am prepared to do yeah. whatever it takes. I'll cast everything aside. If it means I can avenge them. If it means we can win. Is she saying, let me on your team, I promise I'll kill imps good? Staying locked in a petty contest of pride is only going to hold us back. Mm -hmm. Command me as you see fit, Claude. Bring us the victory you promised our allies. Okay. Our friends die fighting the Empire. Now it's our duty to avenge them. Yeah. I know. I'll be watching you, Claude. I will judge your determination and your strength of will. Mm-hmm. If you ever disgrace the memory of the soldiers who died to get you here... <laughs> Uh-oh. ...then I will personally send you to answer to them. <laughs> sure, that's fine. I'm sure that's totally fine. A new episode has been added. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. It's Minerva. Minerva Victor reporting. My comrades paid the ultimate price, and I will carry on their legacy. Okay, Minerva, the last time we were in a battle with you, you were, like, invulnerable and awesome. Are you still invulnerable and awesome? My name is Ronald Alvey. And I fight with the pride of Squad F in my heart. I think we've met you. The glory is now available for use. They gave me another tank. They gave me another, another tank. Ronald drives the glory. All oh, right, that's right. Okay, I know him. Which can be outfitted with one of three weapon types. It's got armor piercing cannons. Anti-personnel Gatling guns and flamethrowers. Oh my god, it's a tank with a flamethrower. Okay, so you can... F fun. Awesome. Weaponry has been updated. The glossary has been updated. Can I see any of these new updates? Nope! <laughs> Alright. Onward. I forgot that that's what Minerva's outfit looks like. Hi, Minerva's outfit! I have an important announcement to make. As part of the reorganization of the Ranger Corps, Squad F will be merged into Squad E. And we will rename it Squad F. E F. No? Your attention, please. We could name it Squad F E. We could be the Iron Squad. We're the Iron Squad! Yes! As you know, Squad F was dealt a crushing blow in the last battle. Nonsense. It's just the Iron Squad now. The Empire's attack was too much for us. We lost almost everyone. Accurate. But now you're, uh, now you're the uh, Iron Squad. But the spirit of Squad F still burns bright in our hearts. That's the first letter in the Iron Squad. <laughs> we will rise again. Fight for our fallen brethren and overcome the Imperial Army. That's right. We will rise from the ashes. The F.E. is for Phoenix. Minerva, Squad E is here to help you carry those burdens. Crystal sacrifice, 
everyone else's. She specifically didn't say Crystal Claude. We vow to them and to you that we will see this through. She very intentionally had a chance to say Crystal and didn't. Just so. We are bound by a single objective. Defeat the Empire and end the war. That's two objectives. We are bound by a single objective to do two things. Henceforth, Squad F is under Captain Wallace's command. We shall push forward together with Squad E. Long live the Iron Squad! Let us fight as one! In addition to two new squad mates, we're also adding their tank to our numbers. Miles, Dan, this is Squad F's driver. Hi there. Lieutenant Ronald Alby. Hi, Ron. It's nice to meet you. Hey, do you know how to drive the Edelweiss? Cuz... We've been suspiciously quiet about who exactly is driving the Edelweiss. Don't worry about formalities with me. We can just take it easy. Like, I would think that Isara's driving the Edelweiss, but also Isara's a grenadier, so... <laughs> with these new additions, our duties will be more demanding than ever. It's only gonna get tougher from here on out have to work together and fight as a team. I cannot believe that the game has thrown so much more complicated stuff at me than we saw in Valkyria Chronicles 1, and now, eight chapters in, it is stopping the action, grabbing the player by the shoulders, and forcing them to hear, you ain't seen nothing yet. I am terrified of what the game means when it says that I ain't seen nothing yet. I'm counting on all of you. Crystal, I will avenge you. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this whole time! This whole time, they're having this super meaningful conversation in the upper decks, and they're just brawling in the cafe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Seriously? They're still going at it? Apparently. You could always throw them out onto the Crystal Sea and let them have a snowball fight. Mm -hmm. It's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> but... They must have an awful lot of pent-up energy. A snowball fight wouldn't be nearly enough. What, do you want to have war games over bread, Minerva? Minerva! And Claude! Hi! Minerva, are you, um, okay? No! But let's move on! I wasn't wounded. I'm ready to move out any time. That's enough! Hi, Claude. Sportspun, I'm so upset that you weren't here for the episode where we had literal actual war games over, among other things, bread, so that I could imagine Minerva Victor interceding in this conflict between Raz and the people of Squad F and grabbing a megaphone and just shouting, WAR GRAINS! The Federation staking it all on a new plan, Operation Cygnus, and we need to make sure it succeeds. We don't have time to be fighting over petty differences. Mm-hmm. Operation Cygnus? What the hell is that? You know, you would have heard if... <laughs> Wait, you guys came aboard without even knowing that? Raz, everyone, listen to me. This ship is heading north across the Crystal Sea, towards the Imperial capital. Uh-huh. This op is our new focus as part of the Ranger Corps. Wait, Claude. Is this ship really going to the capital? I just told you that! Yeah. So we can roll on over the imps just by riding this thing? That's almost too easy. You squids and the crew better make sure I get there. I'm gonna be a hero, you know. Hmm. You? The kid complaining he can't get his nap time? You're not even gonna last to the capital. Why, yeah, you What'd you say? Raz, cut it out! I think we might need some joint training between the army and the navy for the sake of teamwork. Oh my god, it is war games. R&D facility is now available. What that's at headquarters. Which 
You're gonna let me go back to headquarters! You've redesigned headquarters. You've moved headquarters. Headquarters is a boat now. Didn't anyone teach you table manners? Forks and knives are not musical instruments. Quit making a racket at mealtime. Minerva, what is that scarf? Hey you, eat your vegetables. No picky eaters in this crew. And drink responsibly. A hungover soldier is a dead soldier. Mm hmm. Oh, this ship's galley is truly a godsend. Gives you so many people to yell at. A place for everyone to enjoy a relaxing meal and unwind between missions. Relaxing. Uh, uh. Hmm? What's eating you, Sergeant? I told you to chew before you swallow. <laughs> Ugh, as if. All your bitching is killing my appetite. Hmm. Bitching? I'm just giving some friendly advice on proper dining etiquette. Mm. Don't mind him, Minerva. Raz actually got food poisoning. His meds haven't kicked in, so he's all cattywampus. I don't believe that, but okay. Food poisoning, hmm? That won't do. A soldier is only as good as their health. Okay. Eureka! I have just the recipe for that. Sorry, what? The hell is that? Looks like swamp water. A cure-all concoction passed down through the Victor family. Guaranteed to restore one's vim and vigor. Go on. Drink up. And the only way Raz is gonna drink that is if Claude orders him to, which is how we get a new order out of this. Uh, so like herbal tea? Uh, I guess it can't hurt. Bottoms up! <laughs> it's not tasty. Whoa, Raz, what's wrong? Snap out of it! <sighs> hell. I saw a vision of hell. Sorry, what? Kicks in quick, doesn't it? I'm sorry, what? I'll kick you in quick. That was the most nasty-ass outhouse slop I ever... Whoa, wait. What the hell? Where'd my stomachache go? You replaced it with anger. <laughs> I told you so. That is 500 years of Victorian wisdom. Mm-hmm. Minerva, that's amazing. I bet we could use it on the field. Hmm. Perhaps it could cure other poisons, too. Very well. Let's add it to the old playbook. Whoa. They even have these kinds of facilities on ships? The big fancy ones, yeah. We should be able to upgrade our tank parts and squad mates' equipment here, same as back on the base. Whenever you want to research new weapons, you know where I'll be. Convenient. All right. Uh, there's there are no new rifles actually. There's there's no new anything actually. The game went to all this trouble of talking about how it cared so much about. Okay. You went to all of this trouble of introducing the brand new R&D facility and didn't make sure that there was a trigger for this point in the story where there would be new things to R and then D. The game has given us Minerva as a fourth leader. And I was previously thinking, because I've, I've been thinking about this leader system as we've gone through the last few battles, and I've noticed that the game gave us a shock trooper and a grenadier and a sniper as leaders. And the thing with leaders is they can take people and run with them, right? So I was thinking that the game had intentionally withheld a scout from being a leader because you didn't want to have a scout be able to grab, say, two shock troopers or a shock trooper and a lancer or something and run them twice the normal range of a fucking shock trooper. But now the game's like, eh, fuck that. Here's a scout who's a leader, and then you can make someone else a leader. So what I'm gonna do, you know, we go through here. We've got Alicia who can be a leader because she like Alicia, Largo, and Isara came from the Squad 7 DLC as super high promoted people. And I bet you if we, you know, if we had Rosie on the team, Rosie could be a leader too. But I'm going to I'm going to promote Millennia. 
We got, we can't, we take Millennia and Teresa with us all the time. Having a scout as a leader is going to be great. It's going to be more command points. It's going to be more awesome. I'll do it. Millennia, you he would have done. Millennia, you're the leader. Okay. Now, we've added a few people, right? We've added uh, Leonhart, who's a sniper, who, despite just joining the team, was allegedly also in flashback land, which I don't think that's how that's supposed to work, but what are you gonna do? Winter gear! Is it when you get pallet swaps? Hmm? We get second outfits for everybody? I'm sorry it took so long, but it's time to hand out your cold weather equipment. Winter gear. Winter gear! You mean we won't have to warm our hands on the tank's exhaust pipe? That's kind of gross. Or wear a week's worth of socks at once? Mmm, gross. You had to go that far? I heard you had a rough time, but I didn't realize it was that bad. Yeah, it turns out being cold fucking sucks. Well, now you'll have a thick coat, leather gloves, wool innerwear, and sheepskin boots. Tremendous. Don't worry. <laughs> no more shivering out in the cold. Yay! Oh, hell yeah! Okay, let's all get changed. Now, do we actually get different designs, or is it just, you know, hand wave? Nope, Brian different designs. Are taking a while. I, they have lots of layers. Why do women always take so long to get dressed? They have lots of layers. It's not like how they wear it's gonna make a difference. Um. Oh really? You think you've seen it all, huh? Oh, the game doesn't usually telegraph when it's about to be horny. It just kind of drops a horny on us. But, but, but. The game telegraphed that it was going to be horny. Riley Miller Winter Edition. And it it, it oh. was, it was, it was, it was indeed. Damn. It it was indeed. Hey, what kind of reaction is that? Tell me what you think. I believe you got the reaction that is what they think. Raz thinks, and I quote, "Damn." Oh, I I like it. It looks great on you. <laughs> I know, right? I customized it a bit so the hem would look cuter. <laughs> Camera. See, this is what I'm talking about. Ordinarily. <laughs> ordinarily, the game just busts out the horny with no warning. That's why it took so long, huh? No, Raz, that's why it took so short. Actually, that one's on me. Uh-oh. Game's telegraphing that it's going to be horny again. Oh. Ty, are you not happy? Oh, wow, yours looks really nice, too. Wait a sec. Your cloak's the only thing different. Are you gonna be okay? That looks kind of cold. Didn't fit me. Because they made it for... Oh, that's right. Since you're registered as a man. Jeez! Claude, say it louder, why don't you? I'm sure we could get Marie to find you a woman's uniform. Nah, uh, I'll deal with it. Thicker clothes would only slow me down anyway. It's actually pretty warm if I just wrap up like this. Uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Raz? Oh, boy. Whatever. Don't blame me if you catch a cold. Game, you're pretty. You're being pretty obvious with who you're shipping here. Well, if you're invincible, you obviously don't need yours. I'll just take them off you. Uh, Kai, don't tell Raz that you're going to take his clothes off of him. He's already thinking about that right now. I, well... Just be careful, all right? Is it shipping when the game does it, or is it just foreshadowing? I guess it's just foreshadowing. Hey, thanks for watching. Here's the upload schedule. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. Bye.